Ding dong. Okay. Looks like we're streaming. Uh, the screen is blank right now because I have yet to open up Wrath Eon of Ruin, but that is what I'm going to play. Last night, I played only one uh, level of this game, and it took over an hour and a half, uh, partly because I was saving very sparingly. But now I'm ready for more. It is uh, pretty early in the day, but the cool thing about, you know, drawing furry art is that I can work whenever I want to. That's also kind of a, a disadvantage because I can be a bit uh, scatterbrained without a, a schedule, but I, I think it's... Um, For now, it's fine. Let's return to this autosave. We got two levels and presumably another boss remaining in this uh, in this world here. Maybe I'll play through all of them. I had just gone to this one. I also discovered. Oh, not there. I thought it was there. <laughs> Down here. I got a thingy that lets me see the secrets. Oh, whoops. And my next two levels are here and here. Oh, I... I didn't check what this place is called. Maybe I can just go back and then go back again. This is a good use of my live streaming time. Just recycle. What? Twilight Altars. Welcome, Octowave. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, yes. Mm. My ammo could be better. Playing hard to get. All right. So this is where I came from, and it looks like... What's this? Sigil of Displacement. Okay, so that's a... I guess the Sigil of Displacement gives me... A temporal displacement? Like, this shows what a... It lets me interact with what the temple used to be like, is what I'm assuming by that name. Unfortunately, I don't know much about Moral Oral. Uh, I've seen a couple episodes and really liked it, but I don't recognize that uh, character's name.
Okay. I, I don't remember much about the father, but I'll take it as high praise. I think, I think something like moral oral is almost traumatic for me. <laughs> I didn't grow up in the kind of ta uh, household or community that, you know, oral does, but... I always had a, a sort of fear that was similar to the ones that the that show plays with. Just the sort of absurd contradictions and... I can't really concentrate on talking about that sort of thing. My Tuesday is going all right. Uh, I, I'm spending it well, as you can see. Earlier, I tried to justify that statement before anyone dropped into the live stream, I think. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on my my furry porn later, I guess. And for now, I just wanna play a little bit more of this, so I'm taking advantage of that privilege. So I've got these three roughly equal paths. I'm gonna go toward this one first. I kind of like those pustule-covered enemies. The way they're not just the completely typical suicide bomber types, they sometimes run at you, and that makes them a little bit more unpredictable. But they don't, they don't pose much of a challenge, though. Oh, yes, yes, I am a... Uh, I'm a furry artist. I don't have a lot of recent work published, but I, I, I draw naked men for money. Oh yes, here's the thing. Let's use the thing. Oh shit. Well, I'll need to reactivate that little sigil.
Yes, it's uh, for me, it's been... It was certainly a, a change in the direction of my life, but I've been doing it pretty consistently for seven years now. Oh, okay. Shouldn't have done that. Piss. Here I am. Hell yeah. Okay, so that is one out of three, and that first one was pretty short. Yes, I have to activate three lasers clearly for whatever's in here. And can't see it, but it's probably the level ending, uh, ending sigil. Welcome, J.O. Lemon. Looks like a place I shouldn't go. What do we have over here? Oh boy. What's that? Something caused sand to pour down. Oh. Ooh, I don't like that.
I am very uh, surprised that I survived that. <laughs> Assholes! There we go. We got ourselves another laser. I guess that didn't really accomplish anything. Interference pattern. I think I uh, ignored some of these things. Further anomalies in the crystals power. Uh, further anomalies in the crystals power is unpredictable, and cascades occur frequently. Something is forcing them. Yet the runes tell us that the energy is not here. It has been removed, taken. I have ordered the generators to be shut down. I do not take risks, nor trust in fate. There are things beyond our control. I have stored surplus batteries behind the power conduit, under the stairs. Let us hope they suffice. Okay. Old gods, small gods, but this is like an invasion, an inundation, a desecration. My master bade me oversee the raising of the new statue, but I cannot. This is from the level that I played last night. The hideous thing appalls. I see no virtue in its form, nor hear any of the w any in. I see no virtue in its form, nor hear any in the words spoken before it. And I am sure it watches me. Find others who agree. We must destroy them before our own are destroyed. Is sub-5 a statement about the size of your penis? Hell yeah.
Oh! Oh, shit. Okay, well, I did really poorly there, so... Alright. I'm, I'm glad the, uh... Sub-5 thing isn't, uh... At least that cynical. Yes! Alright, I'm gonna use my, uh... The mech guys, they remind me of Vortigons. Probably just from the, uh, the way they stomp around. Which is, it's kind of funny because this is the, uh, 3D Realms game that doesn't have, uh, Chuck Jones, Half-Life's character designer on it. Okay, in that case, let's go this way. Let's see what's up. Nice. Oh, shit. I'm not gonna fight your uh, very low self image. I don't really think that's uh, a very good thing to have, but you got a low self image. I'm just a random streamer. Oh, oh, there's a switch there. really desperate, you could get one of those ladies to chase you.
Pardon me. Didn't mute myself in time. Oh shit. Didn't reach the switch in time either. Okay. Let's try again. Thank you. Come on! Whatever. This level has been pretty gentle so far, despite the uh, the combat that I just got into. Okay, let's go down here.
Here we go. All right. So here's where it gets a bit challenging. And... Yeah, I'll use a Void Grenade for the two guys in the center. See how that does. I think that may be the shortest level so far. That was that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. I kind of wish there were a couple more um, shorter levels, uh, things that were, you know, not designed to be quite as epic, but still have a lot of fun combat. Is there anything that I've missed over here? I guess not. There is a, a, a secret down there that I've already checked out, but... Oh, why not? How do I get back? Oh. Over this way, I think. Level 5. Okay. The Watchtowers. I almost didn't pick that up. I thought I may have reached a limit. This looks like a good place to hide some secrets. We get a uh, little interaction thing to pull a book out and unlock a secret passage. I guess not. But I do have... Let's see, where is it? Mark of Revelation. Uh-huh.
There's a thingy. I didn't even pay attention to that. Oh, I was about to say, are the only secrets over here? But there are a whole bunch off in the distance that I can barely see. Again. <laughs> All right. Man, this is a lot of soul tethers. I wonder if I should use one. Um, let me just see.
Yes. Definitely glad I saved then. That's better. Oh. Sit in your chair. Last light. I'll check that in just a second. Piss! Okay. still hear guys walking around, but... A shadow has fallen. The stars dim and the moons hide their faces. I charted the runes this morning and consulted the zodiac. I peered through the lenses and took the measure of the moon... The noon light for the last time. All is dark. We see no future. The grand orrery sits silent, never to move again. If you find this, think not our ambition folly. We sought only to see further, to know deeper. May some wisdom remain beyond the passing of this world. Rip! Get back here.
What was that? I think they forgot to uh, enable the alpha channel on that on that texture. Oh, I'm out of here. Piss. Okay. Get fucked, nerd. Alright, I just... I just killed one of those big ram guys, so... It's good, a uh, good opportunity to save. There, I can go over here as well. I think that's probably where I have to go because I didn't see many other routes this way. planets. Worlds within worlds. Start up the orrery in the watchtowers. Interesting. I wonder what that does. Avoid going down there. Oh. That's nice. Can I do it again? Yes, I can. So that's not our solar system, that's for sure. Okay, that actually looks like where I'm supposed to go, so let's see what's over here first. Oh, oh, okay. It loops around, I didn't realize that. options to choose from. Just a sec.
Oh shit! Too much acceleration. Shard, vial of lifeblood, cysts, something else. Bad aim on my part. That's it? Oh, what did you, uh, what'd you get, uh, rather not what'd you get, but what did you answer? And what did you get out of other people? Having trouble organizing my sentences. Hell yeah. Half-Life is my favorite game because it's about killing American soldiers. 
Save, why not? Secret discovered. I would probably answer that I don't have a consistently favorite game, but I might just say that I, I really enjoy playing uh, replaying the Half-Life series, which is true. Something I really like to do, especially when I'm stoned. There's a sort of stream of consciousness to the Half-Life series, uh, like their approach to storytelling, that really works for me. What was that? Oh, okay. Big guy's underneath the uh, thingy. All right. All right. I don't think I can jump back. I can... no, I can go back there. I might try jumping back later for whatever the secret is over there. Once I save again.
Oh yeah, I've uh I had a lot of trouble getting uh really developing friendships with the relatively normal people which were all around me back when I was in school. Maybe because of that I didn't uh see that much value in the education I was receiving. It was, um, I was in, I, I took uh, Mandarin Chinese courses back when I was there. I, I, I can't really remember much of any, uh, or I can remember some things, but I, I've never been that good at conversation, just in English as well, so conversations in Chinese were also a bit of a disadvantage for me. Anyway, that's not what I'm, uh, like, segueing into. Um... I was part of the Chinese Language and Culture Club, or something like that. Uh, unfortunately, I had a class that always conflicted with the actual meetings of that club, so they just selected me as this representative for a, 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 a super group of different culture clubs. And we had a, me a weekly meeting for that where I was supposed to uh, announce upcoming events, which of course I could never actually go to myself and there was always it felt kind of like uh, just really shitty uh, mock politics meeting where they would always bring up current events but they were things like mac and cheese kid who was a, a kid who got drunk and demanded mac and cheese at my school the video of him went viral um and people were, like, worrying about how Mac and Cheese Kid would, uh, would, uh, affect the perception of their school. Because, of course, you got this viral video. People are going to be talking about it when they talk about our school. And that may, uh, make us look less professional as, as students. Shit like that. You can probably still find the video I'm talking about by just, uh, searching Mac and Cheese Kid on YouTube. But yeah, it was... It was public, uh, intoxication, and it was handled pretty well. Uh, the cops didn't, you know, beat him down or anything. The, uh... Everyone kept their hands off him until he put his hands on, like, one of the cafeteria supervisors. There, there was really nothing to worry about, about the perception of this university. Like, it... It was all handled very well, in my opinion. And... Public intoxication is something that happens at any school.
Okay. if I go down here. Oh, I think that's just the entrance right below me. Wait, what looks terrible either way? Oh, shit. Take that. Oh, yes, yes. Every university has a big reputation laundry component to it. There's a YouTuber I watch call, uh, named Carl Jobst. Uh, I don't watch everything he does because he he often covers speedruns of games that I'm not uh, very familiar with, but he has been covering that Billy Mitchell cheating case. He recently did a video about one of the guys that Billy Mitchell hired as an expert witness to uh, help him claim that uh, the discrepancies in his footage that he uh, cheated on uh, were just matters of, you know, video degradation over time, because this is talking about, like, a, a VHS tape from the 90s or some shit. And, you know, he uncovered that this, this guy is just... Uh, this, um, you know, expert witness... is this tremendous pig uh, who worked for uh, as a professor and just sexually harassed a couple women and would openly just... Whoa, shit! This is what I get. This is what I get for pretending to uh, provide commentary as I, uh, as I play. I think I still need to play this whole section back over again. Hmm. <laughs> 
he just had non-stop stuff posted on social media that included, like, offers to uh, be a sugar daddy and all sorts of pornographic likes on his Twitter profile. It, w it was great. And he's being sued for sexual harassment of a student. And it looks like the lawsuit is going very poorly because all the things the student claims are all thing, uh, in line with things that he was o just openly posting on social media. And of course, the only thing that the school he worked for did to, uh, you know, keep him on a leash, I guess, was just remove him from their their page of uh, their faculty page and stuff. It's really embarrassing when schools do shit like that. Come on. Those shield guys are kind of confusing. I don't know if there's any way to exploit them while they're, you know, while they've got the uh, shield up. Getting in my education at a legacy institution now before the edifice collapses. More out of curiosity about how it ticks on the inside than any uh, considerations of future employment. Art student. I hope that goes well for you, and I hope that you find something... Uh, something useful out of your time there. I certainly did, but it didn't translate into employability. I was a linguistics student, which is... Very, very interesting in my opinion, but hard to... You have to be a spin doctor, sort of, I think, in order to really sell yourself in terms of employability. And that mainly has to do with the fact that nobody really knows what linguistics is outside of a, a university setting. So it, it just sounds impressive, I think. And I'm not the kind of person to really promote myself on, on just this sounds impressive so I can take advantage of that I think uh, linguistics education really changed the way I think about a lot of things oh okay it, it helped me understand uh you know, matters of logic a lot better. And that's very nice, but it's also tens of thousands of dollars.
Oh, okay. I can just walk through it. Okay. There we go. Linguistics is an amazing study. I fucking love it. But it's also... It's also worth pointing out that, um, at least at the school I went to, it's not something you can really get a job in linguistics-related stuff with unless you get a graduate-level education as well, which I did not. I, I was already kind of sort of behind. Looks like there is a secret down here. Find the only underlift secret in Wrath. The one and only. I love that. Well, I had a little help, but it was uh, it's nice to be rewarded for that. Okay. Okay, and I saved out here, so... Oop. I could have taken more uh, computational linguistics courses. That was really fascinating. All the stuff I, I learned about logical proofs, they don't really tell you. But logical proofs are essentially the same as how computer programming operates. And that's something I... I that's like a congruity between different aspects of my education that I think I learned way too, way too uh, late. I don't think I would like the, uh... I don't think I would enjoy AI stuff. At least not in, a, Not in regard to AI that, you know, affects anything... ...that involves anything that I uh, enjoy working on. Alice. Ah, oh, shit. I don't think I'd be making myself redundant, but... What I've experienced with regard to a lot of generative AI stuff is that the so-called creative process when dealing with it seems a lot like just sort of giving someone else instructions to do what you want them to and repeatedly having to correct them. I watched, uh... I watched some... <laughs> some, like, time-lapse videos of AI-generated furry porn being created, and the way it was being edited just reminded me of the King of the Hill intro. Aw, oh, shit. Okay, I, I'm gonna have to wait again. I think what the what the uh, person doing the AI generation was doing was called in painting where you just you select a certain portion of the image you've generated and you generate it again and you don't really do much else beyond that and so it's just a time lapse of things rapidly changing 
over and over and over again until they got it right. And that that is absolutely just like mentally taxing to me. All right, I'm going to try one more time and then if I don't get this chalice, I'm just going to keep going. I liked uh, I liked generative uh, generative AI when it was much worse at doing what it's supposed to do. When it would just give you you type a prompt into a text generator and it just gives you fucking nonsense. And it's nonsense that a human being would have a lot of trouble thinking up. All right. I think I got this. Oh, let's save. Surprising to see that I'm so close to the end. All right. Pollution of the digital commons. I kind of like the sound of that. Don't fully understand what it means, but... Sounds great. any secret indicators quite close by. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go. Yeah. It it's very apparent among furries. There's there's a type of furry that substitutes personality with um, or substitutes just posting images instead of having a personality of any kind. In, you know, in group chats and stuff. The Lord is a challenging foe, able to draw on great resources, not the least of which is his cunning. 
Well, he's a real cunner, is he? But, um... Those furries who just, in group chats, they just post loads and loads of furry porn they found. They've, they've switched over to just big sets of AI-generated porn that are all essentially the same image. They look generally good, except all the dicks look weird. Like, they're, they're all half-formed. It's very odd. And, uh... It's unfortunate to see them sort of gaining power. Alright, let's see. The Lord of Ethereum. Can't destroy that statue. Ow. I don't know what I expected. Right. Okay. So I guess if if this boss doesn't take me much time, I'll play one or two levels of the uh, the next world because both of these uh, levels that I've played today have been pretty short. Or not pretty short, but shorter than... Oh, fuck. Shorter than the last, uh, uh... The first ones in this world. Okay. Just make sure we're stocking up on goodies. System subdued. Our Lord has returned, unbowed yet changed. He no longer speaks, and the silence emanates from him through the, the energy halls and conduction chambers. It oppresses, and indeed, the power dwindles. He is in repose amongst the crystals. I go to find solace in the sands. Okay. I guess there is a, uh, a walk slowly button. I don't think I ever bothered to uh, try the shift key. But that's nice. That, that might be helpful at some points. I've got a good supply of different little goodies. <laughs> this looks intimidating.
I'm going to briefly use this eye thing to see if there are any secrets hidden here. And there are none, so I'm going to reload. That was not as intimidating as I expected. It's the Lord! What are you up to, Lord? Maybe uh, after after this boss battle, I'll bring up a uh, a great article I found once uh, a couple months ago about some AI generated Sam stuff. Not supposed to go down there. This is certainly strange. He doesn't seem that angry. Okay. Now he's a bit angry. I guess there are three lobes to this uh, chamber. Interesting. Guessing I'm I'm doing all right. Oh man, I wanted that health pickup. Okay, 
Okay, yeah, so now that I'm back here, he won't, uh... He's only going to spawn in that last section, I guess. So I'm gonna save. Piss! Okay, good thing I saved. I didn't need this. There we go! Okay. I need health. Need health. but I think it's a spammer or a scammer. Oh, oh. Didn't realize he could do that. Deal 40,000 damage with one flask of rage. Get fucked. Transcendence. Delete. Defeat the Lord of Ethereon. Hmm. The wretched 
domain. In the mouth of madness, enter the wretched domain. Yeah, this looks pretty wretched. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So five more levels and presumably a final boss. Maybe I'll play uh, one or two more levels in this spot, but I am going to look up that that article that I found. Give me a second and I will find it. Hmm. Shit, this will take me a while to find. Okay, never mind. The Alabama Supreme Court ruled oh. that... Oh. was a video uh, tab that I'd opened a while before. Okay. Okay, yes, this is The Verge. And the article title is, I'm sorry, but I cannot fulfill this request as it goes against OpenAI use policy. I'm sorry, but I cannot analyze or generate new product titles as it goes against OpenAI use policy, which includes avoiding tr any trademarked brand names. So this article is about a whole bunch of scam Amazon listings and probably other websites as well that are entirely AI generated, but also have sort of zero oversight from the, the scammers that are generating them. So it's literally just taking what the, uh, the output of the AI generator and immediately inputting it into Amazon listings without any sort of, without anyone noticing that all of these things are open AI saying, you're not allowed to use our product this way. So, you know, here's a hose, or a piece of hose. I apologize, but I cannot complete this task. It requires using trademarked brand names, which goes against OpenAI use policy. Is there anything else I can assist you? <laughs> I apologize, but I cannot fulfill this request. It, open, it violates OpenAI use policy. Gray, 78.8 .8 table length. So this is a set of six chairs. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I cannot fulfill this request as it goes against OpenAI use policy. My purpose is to provide help, helpful and respectful information to users. Brown. So it's something brown that you're otherwise getting no information about. Fun new game just dropped. Go to the internet platform of your choice. Type goes against OpenAI use policy and see what happens. The boss man... Uh, which I guess is someone named Nilay Patel, dropped a link to a Rick Williams Threads post in the chat that had me go check out Amazon for myself. Hell yeah, product name. I apologize, but I cannot complete this task. It requires using trademarked brand names, which goes against OpenAI use policy. Is there anything else I can assist you with? 10 millimeters by 3 meters. Enhanced uh, performance. Boost your productivity with our high-performance product name designed to deliver fast results and handle demanding tasks efficiently, ensuring you stay out of the competition. 
Versatile functionality. Experience the power of product name. Versatile features that cater to a wide range of needs, from seamless multitasking and smooth gaming to multimedia editing, providing unparalleled flexibility for all your endeavors. I want to imagine the unparalleled flex flexibility remark has something to do with the fact that this is a hose. And I also think that uh, considering the, the the fact that all of these little images you can see underneath this big image, all the thumbnails, appear to be basically the same image, but they're they're all slightly different. I imagine that they are all just AI-generated pictures of hose, and you're not even going to get a hose if you, or like any anything resembling a hose if you buy this. Reliable dur durability, built to last, our rugged product name is crafted with premium materials and rigorous quality standards, ensuring lasting performance and even in the most, uh, performance and, even in the most demanding environments. <laughs> Immersive visuals. Immerse yourself in stunning visuals and vibrant colors with the high-resolution <laughs> display of product name, bringing your favorite movies and multimedia content to life with clarity and accuracy. Simplified connectivity. Stay connected, uh, stay connected the go with seamless technology integration, enabling <laughs> effortless data transfer, quick access to cloud storage, and stable internet connectivity. Uh, making your experience more convenient than. <laughs> oh, this is better than I remember. I mean, when I was looking at this for the first time, uh, I, w I was like in, in the car having a conversation with a friend, so I guess I, I never really bothered to read the whole thing. It was just sort of a something to share while we were shooting the breeze. On Amazon, I searched for OpenAI policy, and boy, did I get results. I'm not entirely sure what this green thing is, but I've been assured that it will boost your productivity with our high-performance product name designed to... Okay, so that's just reading what I read above. Phenomenal. Unfortunately, there are no customer <laughs> reviews yet anyway. Hail Lusty, I apologize, but I cannot fulfill this request. It violates OpenAI use policy. Gray, 78.8 .8 table length. I imagine that gray 78.8 .8 table length, like 78.8 .8 inches, is supposed to be the size of the table that these chairs are designed to uh, be seated around. 1019 or $1,920. Versatile use. Our product can be used for a variety of tasks, such as Task 1, Task 2, and Task 3, making it a versatile addition to your household. Durability. Crafted with materials, our product is built to last, ensuring lasting performance and durability, even with regular use. Enhanced efficiency. With its innovative design, our product maximizes efficiency, allowing you to complete tasks more quickly and effectively, saving you valuable and effort. <laughs> This appears to be a table and six chairs, all of which look suspiciously like they were rendered by a, by a computer. But the good news is that our product can be used for a variety of tasks, such as ta such task 1, task 2, and task 3, making it a versatile addition to your household. Wow. I've been looking for someone to handle task 1, task 2, and task 3 for me. Okay, so the content of this article is itself kind of boilerplate, just a little bit of snark. Sorry, but I cannot generate a response to that request. Blue, 236.2 by 1118, or 118.1. There's a color option called Anthracite. Enhanced security description. Our product offers advanced security measures to your personal information and ensure a safe online shopping experience. Versatile usage description. This product can be used for various purposes, making it a versatile option for everyday use or special. Reliable performance description. 
With its performance and durable construction, our product delivers consistent results and lasting reliability. Easy setup and use description. Setting up and using our product is a, thanks to its user-friendly design and clear instructions provided, customer guaranteed prescription description. We prioritize customer and offer a hassle-free return policy, ensuring the complete ensuring complete when purchasing our product. Introducing the incredible, sorry but I can't generate a response to that request software, designed to assist you in overcoming any query obstacles. This optimized product is here to revolutionize your search experience. With a precise character count of 500, every word has been taken has been expertly crafted to deliver meaningful responses while avoiding duplication. Say goodbye to frustrating dead ends and trademark restrictions. Un upgrade to, sorry, but I can't generate a response to that request, for seamless navigation through any query. Brand. Foppius. I'm sorry, but I cannot fulfill this request. It goes against OpenAI use policy. My purpose is to provide helpful and respectful information to users. Brown. Hello, just stop UTTP. Uh, you came while I was taking a little break from uh, Wrath, Eon of Ruin. Um, I'm going to play another level in just a little bit, but I just finished uh, the second world of this game, uh, so I figured I would celebrate by exploring something that I mentioned while I was playing. From the AI and Digital Commons article, Generative AI has dropped the cost of producing bullshit to near zero. We see clearly the future of the internet, a garbage dump. And yeah, that's that's how I see a lot of AI-generated stuff as well. Um, people are, you know, in, in the furry art sphere, they're very concerned about, like, companies taking the jobs of artists with regard to... Uh, you know, the production of generic artwork for selling a product or whatever. And I, I guess I can see that, but the the bigger disruptive thing, I uh, way I see AI disrupting things is just they make it so easy to scam. And you've already got industrial scammers that are set on auto dialing every number in a in a certain range and getting as many people on the phone as they can just to rather than improving their scam and i think that they're doing something similar with uh with all this ai stuff because you don't need to fool a whole lot of people with crappy generative ai stuff you just need to get some specific vulnerable person involved to give you, you know, 10 bucks or 100 bucks or 500 bucks on something that they think is going to be legitimate. And because they're vulnerable enough to fall for this sort of thing, they're probably not going to be able to dispute it effectively. You know, on top of the fact that scams typically cross international borders, or cross national borders, just because it's easier to get away with that. You you get so many scam phone calls if you speak English. You get so many scam phone calls from India because they're such a large English speaking country, but they're a different country, and also probably because they have you know this whole telemarketing industry set, that was set up in the past two decades. So it's got to be easy to set up a scam call center as well. So similarly, I believe that the majority of these scams uh, uh, listings on Amazon with just AI-generated garbage, <laughs> they've got other products that they sell that are not products, but nonetheless, um, <laughs> they appear to be more like products then I'm sorry, but I cannot analyze or generate new product titles. It goes against OpenAI use policy, which includes avoiding any trademark brand names. 
there are some product titles that get through and they manage to sell people nothing and they're probably gone before AI, uh, before Amazon can take action against this horseshit even if Amazon wants to okay Hillary, apologies, but I'm unable to assist with this request. It goes against OpenAI use policy and encourages unethical behavior. Black. It's, it's the little things in these listings. So is there going to be any um, like insight into this? I'm not sure, but it, it's still a fun article. After publication, Amazon spokesperson Maria Boschetti emailed me and to ask me to add the following statement. We work hard to provide a trustworthy shopping experience for customers, including requiring third-party sellers to provide accurate, informative product listings. We have removed the listings in question and are further enhancing our systems. That's nice, I guess. Amazon isn't the only pro pro a platform with this problem, uh, though its listings are a lot more fun than whatever's going on with Twitter. Uh... So yes, here's here's a bunch of uh, bot accounts, I guess, that uh, just getting caught red-handed. One for uh, promoting, or a couple are for promoting cryptocurrency explicitly. And then the rest are just, I don't know, they're whatever junk. There's a, another YouTube that I, I really like uh, called Cathode Ray Dude. You should stop watching me and just watch him. Um, he went over this, uh, not this specifically, but uh, he calls these companies six letters. Because they're not really companies, but they are registering sort of automatically generated trademark names. So they get, a lot of them are six letters long. And as you, you know, submit things to Amazon with a trademarked name, that allows you to have certain advantages when marketing your stuff. And this was, of course, something that backfired that was originally supposed to set, you know, recognizable brand names a cut above all of this garbage. Cathode Ray Dude. Yes, he, I, I really like him. He does a lot of uh, sort of narrative videos about the history of whatever device he uh, is talking about. So it, it's sort of like, go back 20 or 30 years, let's look at this computer, let's look at this weird uh, camcorder or audio device, and let's talk about the historical context with which, uh, through which this actually managed to uh, exist before we got a more homogenized tech market. Yeah. And so I, I really, really appreciate that kind of video. Uh, the video in which he talked about this sort of thing was less about that and more just about uh, taking apart a weird uh, portable DVD player called The Boy Fun, B-O-I-F-U-N. And so of course that's one of the these six letter trademark names that he suspects has like the people who are designing these things never actually even see outside of the manufacturing facility where they're made and then shipped off to be exported to the United States. So anyway, that's that's a little bit interesting. And so I'm going to go uh, uh, stop bloviating about this uh, this article, and I'm going to get back to Wrath, Eon of Ruin. But maybe I can post a link in the chat. So if you want to... Yes, okay. If you want to read that, or, you know, find something, you know, follow up on it, you'll know where to find it. I think it's just a little gem. Oh! Guess I'm going down here. Got blood.
Secret discovered. Ooh, I touched the fire. Browner's apparatus. like oh, I can't swim up the the waterfall I never played much of blood um, I got really frustrated by the amount of damage that enemies take I don't think I found it all that Challenging, but it just didn't jive with me. So here's a level. Um, I guess they may all be sort of spaced out like this or spaced apart. I'm going to try to find where I spawned. Okay, here's another one. And so I'll find where I spawned with the, uh, the circle of the stone circle, and I'll choose whatever level is right next to that. I think the uh, the way back to the way back to the start is probably just down here somewhere. I'm not sure. Ooh, coffer key. That's nice. where I came from. I make it. Yes. What? is my stone circle. Oh, maybe I can go up here. Of course I can. Here we go. I forgot about that ramp. Another great victory, Outlander. And now we come to the greatest realm. The Wretched Domain. Give us nothing. Oh, 
Hello. He's not having a good day. Neither is he. This reminds me of <laughs> that scene in Poor Things. They're doing a surgery on a on a corpse and there's just they just set his head on fire. <laughs> Alright. Ah, my coffer! What have we got? Armor, void grenade, chalice of lifeblood. I don't really need that chalice of lifeblood, but thanks. Hmm. Tempted to see if there's anything over there, but well, I have plenty of lives, so. No, nope, that was a bad idea. Um, I used the void grenades recently. I think during this stream, but. They're just like the uh, singularity grenades in Prey or whatever. Um, they just have a little black hole that sucks guys in. Uh, it's It was uh, pretty helpful at some points. Ooh. When you do play it, I hope you enjoy it as much as I'm enjoying it. I also hope that this uh, this last world that I'm in will uh, will be up to the standards set by the previous two. All right, back down here. I may as well choose this level and get going. Yeah, the uh, Prey 2017, the Bethesda one. I haven't played that in a while, but I uh, I think I, I I streamed it when it first came out during the refund period. Uh, whoops! And I, I didn't really enjoy it. But then I gave it another shot um, on the hardest difficulty uh, like a year later, and I absolutely loved it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay. That's right. I, I left that level by accident. <laughs> the Red Throne. The Red Throne sounds like a, a, a final level to me. But let's see how we do. Ooh. Journal updated. I think this is the enemy I just killed. The symbol. I haven't checked out the System Shock remake. I, I played a uh, a demo from back before it had a graphical overhaul, and I think it needed a graphical overhaul at the time. It was very, very busy and gloomy in a way that I didn't enjoy. I also haven't played the original System Shock beyond... Uh, I enjoyed it, but I... Uh, I got to a point where uh, I, I turned it 
turned on like a space laser and accidentally blew up a planet or something, and that was considered a game over, so I just said, ah, I'll, I'll try it again some other time. It's a game that rewards paying attention to what buttons you're pressing. So with these these big new enemies that were uh, flying around just now, I was thinking, oh, maybe I shouldn't have chosen this level first because it seems like it might be too imposing as the first level in this world, but they're actually not that hard to kill. Oh, nice. Piss. There we go. I'm gonna run over to that, uh, that shrine. don't hurt. But I like the aesthetic. Roses and thorns in hell or whatever this place is supposed to be. Ooh. Zombies. Maybe that opened that door. Looks like it. Okay. I think a lot of the games that I want to play on a stream are games that I've already played and... So, like, I, I want to appear as an authority on a game, for the most part. Uh, may, I guess not on this one, but on others, that's how I'll generally approach things. So maybe if I really enjoy System Shock, 
to the extent that I'll want to replay it, I'll do it on a stream. Okay. <laughs> Try that again. Vicious Animus. Getting another spam risk call. Oh well. I tend to just let those sit and uh, do nothing. All right. you fuck it you know how it's done don't fuck with me or I'll pull out a gun let's see there we go oh okay
I don't think I like that. I'm going to look about uh, look at ways to circumvent that. I think I own Nightmare Reaper. I haven't played it yet. Hell yeah! Oops. We got a new guy! Bestiary. Fallen Wraith, Afflicted Widow, Invader, Heretic, Executioner, Stricken. Brute, that looks like it. That's pretty neat. Maybe I should have taken more time to uh, examine the design. Yeah, let's save. Just, you know, all of this. Oh, yep. Like I was expecting. Getting stuck in here. Something hit me. Damn. 
I am missing every shot. That that's embarrassing. All right. I think I should. Whoops. Well, I should do this. Now what I should do is this. That is pretty bad enemy placement, having this enemy that sort of launches projectiles on an arc just show up in uh, where all of his projectiles are going to be affected by the group or impeded by the group. That was not a very good move in my opinion. Conspiracy in code. What about that. Get wrecked. Have I seen exactly this enemy before? There we go. Alright, nothing special. But, still proud that I could do it. Mace of Devastation. Okay. 
I should check the ammo counter then. Okay, so I gather souls and then that uh, provides energy for this thing. And I only gather souls if I kill them with this weapon, so that's an interesting little dynamic. I still think it's pretty nice. And it's okay to have, you know, no fanfare in a game like this where there are very few scripted sequences. So it's not a charged shot. It's just, you can collect up to 10 souls at a time from this weapon. And when you decide to use them, you use all of them. And they all come out as projectiles. Oh, piss! I, I was low health, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Wrong way. Cells by doing this. this weapon selected.
party. Okay. Now I think I'm getting gonna get hit less. destructible things under you know, very specific conditions. Oh, okay, so I got a soul from this guy, but not from the ones that were behind the, uh, the rock walls. supposed to actually go. Here we go. Oh yes, and here's a bad guy. between these. That's an interesting name.
I left something behind back there, like a little hallway with a couple bad guys. Golden Pixel 2.0. I don't know what you're referring to that may or may not be quick. champions. That's not a very good idea, and I've been doing it every time I get in here. I, well, I guess I don't have any more of those uh, damage multipliers. All right. Hmm. 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 I want to use something, but I know not what. Maybe the cruel Aegis. That'll be good with the uh, the club. Pick up these guys. Ah. Yeah, I like that. That 
looks pretty neat. Another coffer. Dark Armor Shard, Shockwave, and a Soul. Alright, I should definitely use the Soul soon. This, this Mace soon. Backtrack and get a couple more souls just to stock up on them. I thought that was a projectile for a sec. Yeah, that's going to be spooking me throughout the rest of the game. contain goodies. How about that? Nope. I feel like it's good to start saving again. Oh, piss! saying piss a whole lot. The souls lock on. you are. Deadly fish down there.
Yeah, cruelly, just... Let's do it. about you. Hi, doggy. separate ways. Like I've got a fly swatter. All right, I'll approach the other one with the other branch over there with a cruel aegis. Oh, oh. 
okay. Yeah, so I gotta use the uh, melee weapons to do this. I didn't think of that. Oh, also I need health. Expose the core in the Red Throne. <laughs> well, if I get bombarded by enemies, I'm going to have this to protect me. was to disperse my soul ammunition out in every direction, but I'm not sure that it really worked. No! Oh, whoops! I fell to my death, I think. to my death again. How about that? Alright, so I can bat this bat, uh, this guy. Yes, okay, these do... These projectiles all do take targets. Oh, that's nice. And I fell to my death. <laughs> Harvester, collect 100 souls. The Mace of Devastation. Good idea to have this little shield deployed once I get to the second wave of these enemies. Good call on my part. 
See if there's any other goodies. I'm not really going to risk trying to get up there. So, let's call it a night. The Wretched Domain. Now you have defeated the last two guardians. There will be little to hinder you on your righteous quest. My hopes are with you, Outlander. <laughs> All right. Not much more to say. Yes, that's the end of my stream for the for the day. Now to get to work, and thank you all for watching. It's been a pleasure, and I think this game is turning out to be pretty damn good all the way through, which is a relief, especially considering the uh, sort of development hell that people thought it was in. Maybe it wasn't development hell, but I, th I think it's coming back. Alright. Have a good uh, not night yet. Have a good day, everybody. Evening.